I think it's time to do another ticket unveiling video here. As I believe, I, what I picked up from the post office here recently is my 2020 Calgary Roughnecks season tickets here. As this will be the second season that I'll officially have season tickets for the Calgary Roughnecks. May I add, we are the defending NLL champions here. I'll have to eventually pick up some champs gear. Maybe I'll do that at the home opener here, but uh, you know, let's do another ticket availing video. It's kind of the unboxing thing, but uh, I call it ticket availing as I open up my package and go over what's inside here. And I believe it's my rough next season tickets. As uh, a couple weeks ago, they sent me an email to confirm my address and the fact that the next preseason first game, which will be a preseason in the preview party, is next week. And so I figured it was going to arrive in the mail soon. Plus, I had to pick it up from the post office as I'm never home in the daytime. And, you know, all I'm going to have is that my package arrive and I won't be in the office that day. So uh, let's bring this up here. So uh, I'll make my great cup video, which I'll can see that. For my hunters at Great Cup, it was Canada Post that delivered this, so here it is here. And obviously it's to me. The inch says from Calgary Roughnecks, P.O. Bucks, 14, 1540, Station M, Calgary, Alberta, T2P, 3B9. So, uh, and of course this is the this tough uh, flex package here, so uh, bear with me. I'll, I'll find it together what's inside here, once I open this guy up. And uh, that's what uh, this peer layer is doing with my uh, 107th grade cup ticket, and it was much easier to uh, pull off the rear tab and uh, to, uh, I felt some cardboard in the back, or is that just the cardboard to uh, protect it and keep it stiff? Yes, yeah, that's just some cardboard, so I'll put this in the slate clean. Alrighty, I'll just uh, pull everything out here. Make sure I've got everything. And it's real time here, yep. That's everything. So, let's prepare, let's dive right in my package here. So, First things first, there's my food and beverage card for the uh, Salvum. I did get this last year when you renewed at a certain time, so I'm just going to uh, pay for a few beers here, $50 food card for the Salvum. And this is also my discount card too, so uh, they put it all in one card this year, so this is my Fanatic discount card and food voucher, so it's apparently your my $50 uh, food voucher on there. And this is valid during the 2019-20 NL season here. So uh, I'm a car carrying season ticket holder for the Calgary Rough next two for the second season. I have had my season tickets for the Stampeders for 23 seasons here. And, uh, you know, I'll start off with, uh, you know, even with the Stampeders, you went to a bunch of games in the season before you go to, like, a little more than half the games, because I know in 2018 I went to six Calgary Roughneck games, so I figured, oh, I'm also just get season tickets, so it's that. I know I had an envelope here. It's a, uh, ooh, uh, oh yeah, it's a Saladon gift card, $25 here, so I, I think that was also one of the perks here. So I could get my Champs gear. So yeah, here it is. Scotiabank Saladon gift card. So yeah, I'll use this to get my Champs gear, and I'll have that up when I do my Calgary Roughnecks this month, Season 2, when I'll start recapping that. So i got uh, these two cards here. And I have a letter here. So, uh, from the Calgary Sports Entertainment. And also, this talks about the kids up front, or if you have a game you can't go to, or you know you can't go to in advance, you can donate your tickets and uh, it goes to kids up front so kids can go to the game with otherwise they're not able to. And 
I have seen advertisements on C Trade Station talk about that. So I have a letter here from Mike Moore, the vice president, talking about uh, you know the whole season here. I'm not going to read this whole letter here, but uh, well, I like that 2019 NL champions. How's that sound? And at the end here, I mean. Every home game for this season will start at 7.30 with the exception of the December 28th game. That would be, so that's the new start time, 7.30 ball drop. Doors open at 6.30. Or, that's definitely the one thing to sell them is done is have happy hour specials, cheaper beer, food. Maybe the uh, McMahon Stadium can take a hint about that. Have that and before kickoff, but uh, that's another story. I mean, they're on with the Flames. NL Championship Raising Banner. I'm definitely going to make sure I capture that video. That will happen on Saturday, December 21st, 7.30. Ooh, first 3,000 fans will get a mini Rep Cut Championship Banner. I'm definitely going to damn well try to get that and show that to you guys. And then happy hours back at the Rough House. Enjoy $5.00. Food and drink specials, five dollars from six to seven thirty. That, that's definitely. I had another coworker that uh, said he liked that too about going to the Salem. I think McMahon Stadium should consider that An hour before uh, kickoff. Have happy hour specials, cheaper stuff for fans. Times are tough, and it's you're still making gross profit. And then uh, continue. Yeah, so continue the post party with the live music, celebrate together. Yeah, so on the field there, if you want, you can go on the field and mingle, and and also the fact that then the, the Chrysler Club, they always have stuff going on after the game. So let's actually get to my tickets now. So 2019, 20 season tickets. Here they are. Fanny Champs here. This is 2019-20. I'll call this the 2020 NL season because see it starts in December. And uh, so yeah, here's the ticket booklet here. On the back here, here's Dane Dolby. Last the reigning MVP, leading scorer, and uh, I'm gonna say best roughneck of all time. And we had guys like Caleb Toth and uh, Tracy Kluski, but uh, he'll be raising in the banner when he's done playing lacrosse here. So let's open it up here. Let me see, you got the, you know, schedule and the $5 happy hour special there at Salem. I know that supplies at the playing games too. Not not as much with the Hitman, especially if it's an afternoon game. So, first game here. So the first game is the preview party. Which is the, well, this is the home opener here. I don't, don't have a preview party ticket here. But this is the home opener here. As we'll be taking on the Colorado Mammoth, the team that we beat in the West Final here. So this is when we'll be raising the championship banner here. So on Saturday, December 21st. And then the next game, home game, will be on Saturday. December 28th, we'll be taking on the Philadelphia Wings here. So here's this ticket here. It looks like they have fans on them instead of uh, actual players. Oh, here's Christian Del Bianco. So on Saturday, January the 25th, we'll be taking on one of the new teams, the Halifax Thunderbirds. So here's Christian Del Bianco. On that ticket. And then here we got Curtis Superman Dixon on the next ticket here. This will be on Saturday, February 8th, when we take on the New York Riptide here. So there's that ticket here. And then the next ticket here. Saturday, February 29th. 2020 is gonna be a leap year and it will be also rough next game day here, as on Saturday, February 29th, we'll be taking on the San Diego Seals here. One of the teams that we had to beat to get to the uh, championship here, 
Actually, they hosted the West semifinal, and uh, we upset them by one there to get that game against the Colorado Mammoth at home. So uh, this will actually be a special Friday night game on Friday, March the 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th. We're taking on the Saskatchewan Rush, and I guess this is the St. Patrick's Day party. And the tickets are green. How much more green are we going to have in the cell on that day when we're taking on the Saskatchewan Rush? And you know, Rush fans are becoming more devoted, just as devoted as Ryder fans here. So this is definitely going to be another Calgary-Saskatchewan rivalry game here. And depending on how the Great Cup playoffs go, we might have another Calgary-Saskatchewan game here. And then the next game will be on Saturday, March the 28th. Here is Dan Taylor. We are taking on the Vancouver Warriors here. So here's that ticket here. And of course you see below the ticket there you have uh, special coupons. Sometimes they're, they're something I want or other times they, I'll leave it. So the next game after that will be on Friday, April the 3rd. First time we'll be taking on the Buffalo Bandits. And this has Jesse King on the ticket. Buffalo Bandits was the team that we beat. Game 2 in overtime. Thanks to Reese Dutch. We scored that uh, overtime winner and it was definitely a classic finish here. And then on Friday, this will be another special Friday night game. Friday, April the 17th. We'll be taking on the Saskatchewan Rush again. This will be the fan appreciation night. So we'll have to deal with Rush Nation twice in the regular season. Oh boy. But fills our building. Although that's a Friday night. So that's the last game of the regular season here. 2020 playoff tickets. Hopefully I'll get to use a few playoff tickets again this year. So here we got the West Division semifinal. Could be using that. Last year, we did not host the West Division semifinal, but we did host the West Division final, as it was the three and four seed. Calgary was the three seed last year, and Colorado was the four seed last year, and Colorado knocked off Saskatchewan. So that's why we were able to host the West Division semifinal. And keep in mind here that you pay for your tickets. And I guess it's the same thing with the Flames. You should pay for your season tickets for the season. And then what happened with the Roughnecks here is you pay your playoff tickets separately. And uh, they had a couple options where you either pay the full amount up front, so we hosted four games, or you pay monthly or you pay as you play. I picked the pay as you play because then it's just easier that way. If we have a game, you pay for it. Not, you don't pay for it. And uh, it actually worked out. We had two playoff games as... Uh, we hosted the Western Final, and we hosted Game 2 of the Championship, which definitely, that was definitely well worth the money, and I was on the edge of my seat there, especially towards the end of the game. And uh, th thankfully, uh, it was that career, I remember, in overtime. Thankfully, if it wasn't in the right spot at the right time, we would have needed a Game 3 for the Finals, because it's the best of three in the Final, and... Uh, who knows what could have happened. I wouldn't have enjoyed that classic finish by Reese Dutch. So this ticket is the West Division Final. Uh, if we do need to host the West Division Final. And all things go well. And, uh, you know, we are uh, going to have uh, finals. Here's the NNL Finals, Game 1. Very familiar scene there. Maybe use that. Or could it go to, you know, the final, final, final game? This would be game three. There's if we have home home field and uh, needed a game three. This is what I call it, B game. It was the A game that I used for my season ticket last year. Because we had, that was the only home game we were going to have for the finals here. So yeah, that's it for the season ticket packaging. We're defending champs here, as you can see. So yeah, it's it's be interesting. Uh, I didn't. I must have missed the uh, preview party here, but uh, 
I don't see a preview party ticket in here. But uh, I know that game is next week here. Uh, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get that. Or maybe it's on my phone here. I know my tickets are on the phone as well. But that's going to be my season tickets for the 2020 NLL season here for the Calgary Roughnecks there. So, yeah, I'm ready to spend some time in the rough house here. Especially after the CFL season's wrapping up and once the Great Cup is awarded, I'm definitely fully into hockey and cross mode. That gets me through the winter until next season when the weather warms up and it's back to football here. So I got sports that keeps me going year round here. So if you enjoy everything I do on my YouTube channel, just make sure you hit like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. I mean, obviously, Calgary Sports is the big part of my channel here, but I also post some personal vlogs, and I capture lots of moments from sporting events, which I plan to do that when we raise our banner to the Settler Raptors. be our third championship, as we won in 2004. I actually was there when we watched it in 2009, but the seldom wasn't as full, and I was in the second level of the side there, but 2019 definitely blew it out. Because it was a full building, and I was in the lower bowl, and... I'll be back in the, uh, you know, the club seats, which actually, you know, I, I find the cross is definitely better watched in the lower bowl because a couple seasons ago when I went to my six games, I, I test drove seats around the saddle dome. And even before that, I actually went six years without uh, going to a game. And then I went to a game, I think from 7, 27, well, 7 to 11 there, I went to at least one or two games. I... I remember in 2011, that was when Brad Bannister, the original owner of the Roughnecks, was pleading that, you know, support the team or we lose it. And we lost that playoff game in the West Final. At the time, it was the Washington Stealth, which that franchise was, which was based out of Everett, Washington, which uh, now is the Vancouver Warriors. I thought at that time, that was the last Roughnecks game I'll ever go to. And and then the Flames bought them, and, which makes sense. They're in the same building. And... I just didn't go to game. Part of it was I used to work as a minor official at the St. Trojan games, and those were my Friday and Saturday nights in the winter there, so I didn't have as much time to go to games. And then, you know, I was a season ticket for the Stampeders. Sometimes they have the Stampeders party, and I had that Stampeders party there a couple of years ago, and I had a free ticket to sit anywhere, and went to that game. I was like, damn, I need to go back to catch some Roughneck games, and it just... I got stuck, and you know, I said I went to six games in the 2018 season, and I said, all right, I need tickets for the Roughnecks here, and I actually get a 25% discount on my tickets because I have season tickets for the Stampeders, so, uh, and I free up for next season for the Stampeders so I can get a discount on my Grey Cup ticket this year. So uh, so I say, uh, bring on the Roughnecks. Go next go. Looking forward to going back to the Rough House, and... Uh, I'd say we want to keep that trophy home too. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.